Tonight, the message for all of us here, North Texas companies need to do more to reduce the risk of workplace violence. That's the assessment from a former crisis counselor after the shooting in Louisville. J.D. Miles talked to her tonight about what bosses need to do to be better prepared. What we see from the aftermath of a mass shooting like the one this week in Louisville is far different than what Veronica Sight sees. What was your takeaway from the shooting in Louisville? My perspective is that there were a lot of red flags and um, at, at the get-go. Seitz is a doctor of traumatology who lives in Crowley. She offers consulting for North Texas businesses that want to reduce the risk of workplace violence. Can these workplace shootings be prevented? The workplace shootings can be prevented to an extent. According to the Violence Project, a workplace accounts for about 30% of all mass shootings in the U.S. That's more than schools, churches, retailers, or bars and restaurants. Site says the vast majority of them involve someone with mental health issues who turns suicidal, a topic she has written about and believes employers can mitigate. Offer trainings of suicide prevention. It's not that everyone is thinking of that, but if there is a risk, don't miss it. Sites teaches employers she works with to offer and promote mental health resources to their employees and create a reporting system for employees if they notice signs of aggression, paranoia, or depression in others they work with. An employee going through um, life transitions that can be major stressors for life. Sites says every business should conduct a risk assessment and have a plan of action not just for locking doors and hiding when someone enters a workplace with a gun, but for also detecting troubled employees beforehand who may be suicidal. She says too many companies avoid proactive measures, thinking it will never happen to them. Don't think it cannot happen to you. Ask yourself, how prepared am I to respond when something happens? J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.